Uh, so it turns out that I didn't save after the last stream, uh, so I had to do a little bit of um, playing before starting and to get more or less to the same point where we ended. So what is uh, that we did at the end there is we played a little bit forward from the auto save, or we got to like I think September originally, but then I decided to do something a little bit differently this time, so we went a month over. But what we did do is um, sovereign course level one, so appointed uh, magistrates. Which uh, helps with the stability, autonomy, a bit of welfare, and less corruption, provincial corruption at that. So that is actually really good. Um, we're also getting fairly close to the point where we can do the nobility reform, but that will still take quite some time. We currently have a reform underway, which was what did we actually? Oh, right, it was the indirect taxation that we upgraded, wasn't it? Right, well let's unpause. Um, we have about 26,000 men ourselves. We are currently at minus one stability, and stability is probably going to be dropping to minus two for a little bit in the near future. We've got quite a bit of places where there might be oh, an age of absolutism. Right, well, um, those mechanisms aren't actually in this mod though, so I probably shouldn't be worrying too much. I don't suppose I can get claims over here. Ooh, I can. Hold on, who's that? Muscovy has a claim on that. Oh, right, Muscovy, the one province miner. <laughs> As a claim over there. All right. Well, I'm going to use at least some of the spine network in Turkish Empire to get some claims over here. Well, one. I can get a second claim over there actually. And we're building up a spine network over here for um, Zabulistan, so we can get a claim on their capital over here. Their tributary state. They got two allies, but I think if, uh, in theory, we were to declare war, and uh, their um, overlord would not join, which is Hindustan. So in theory. Well, it's still actually quite a bit of troops there, so hmm, hmm, wouldn't be able to bring in almost any of our allies. So yeah, I think uh, we will not be expanding that way right now. Uh, we do have our troops ending with the Magulistan and Grey Horde, and pretty sure there was someone else in that. Khorosid and Parakshan as well. So those troops are ending in next year. In September, so that's actually not too bad. We're currently not quite ready for yet another war, though, so we'll have to wait a little bit with that, but it should be fine. Right, so we've got income of three ducats right now. Oh, overlook tenant abuse expired. All right, well, that's going to have a bit of an impact on the stability increase, I do believe. Yeah, the stability is. How quickly is it going down, actually? It's not going down, it's actually going up. And also, the state reach is still going up because we've got that going on. Probably not very long anymore. Provincial corruption is pretty darn high, but that is also going down at a pretty decent speed. So that is definitely good news. Um, oh right, yeah, we got the Conquest Castle Belly. We are actually losing cash now. Oh wow, we're losing a lot of cash right now. Now to be fair, a large reason for that is because um, the nobility hates us right now because we did the magistrate thing. And clergy doesn't really like us either, or tribes, or basically anyone else. Corruption is still going down, which is quite nice. But it's, uh, we have a bit of a problem with our income. Luckily, we should have our money, sufficient amounts of money to be able to, you know, weather this um, our time. Influential bureaucrats has expired, all right. I could actually try doing that again. Uh, direct bureaucracy, promote for bureaucratic faction. It's 10 points of admin and diplo, but that should be fine. There's a bit of uh, bureaucracy corruption, which... We're not reducing necessarily all that quickly. It says that it will anger other factions, but luckily it shouldn't have an impact on the loyalty there, so that's fine. Um, how's the influence now? Ooh. Getting closer and closer. Now there's the noble marriage, so the aristocrats are getting a little bit influenced, but hopefully not too much. The idea is, or the goal is to reduce that down to or below 35, so we can do the nobility reform in 1621 at the earliest. It might take a little bit longer than that, let's be honest, but that would be the earliest point that we can do it in. So what is your... Okay, you should have pretty much all the problematic areas under control there. We could technically have this one do rebel suppression over here for some of these areas, just to be sure. That's going to reduce some of those from actually firing at all. Um, right, so yeah, we are probably going to be reaching about 15 corruption again once that expires or like um, is whittled down. How is the meritocracy? So now that we've got the 
Sovereign Cause Reform is... Hold on a minute. It should be higher than that. Because we got the level 1, don't we? But maybe it didn't factor that one in yet. Yeah, we got the level 1, but it's not showing it there. Right. Um, but regardless, uh, there's also... Music recruitment needs to be upgraded twice. Civil examination once. And then... And the second level of the Sovereign Court, and then the Ruler Skill, Admin Skill needs to be a bit higher. But then we could get the... Uh, oh, right, we can complete the idea group here, which means War Score versus other religion goes down by 20%, and we'll get another missionary, and we'll unlock a policy, which will unlock yet another missionary. So I think that's actually a good idea. So we can do conversions, but first things first. Let's go ahead and get... Another one over here. Now we need to figure out where do we want to convert. Now I suppose we could maybe convert... Oh, actually, Tabriz is probably something that we should convert because that is one of the capitals. We'll put one there. And I suppose we could convert Baku or something like that. It might be fine. Or maybe convert something over here. Or maybe even Kislar because Kislar is getting the commercialization. If it was a... Hmm, how much is their population? There is quite a bit. What about Sherwin? Not quite as much. There's still quite a bit in there, but I think Sherwin might actually be the better option because that is going to be getting it faster anyway. So we'll put those in. Then we'll put in the... We'll do the direct clergy thing. Organized missionaries. Oh, uh, loyalty isn't high enough. Never mind. Well, I don't know if it will keep them in there or if we'll need to redo, but technically speaking, it wouldn't matter that much. Like, uh, for every conversion that we do, we should be getting some prestige and all that, so I think I will actually take it. Of course, that means a little bit more clicking, but that's all right. There's... Ooh, right, these are the eastern areas that are going to be revolting. There's 11,000 men. I mean, it's not too bad for the army in here. With Dentrasa in the lead with three siege pips. That's actually... Ah, uh, that is really good. Uh, how loyal is Karakayulu now? It is 38%, so that's actually pretty decent. Combined, we get about a ducat per month from our vessels, which is definitely welcomed. I mean, it's about 5% of our total income, so it's not that massive, but they're not necessarily the richest countries either. I think both of them are hordes, so hmm, and that does hinder them a little bit in economical sense. Now, I'm hoping that the... Loyalty with the nobility is going to go up again. At least a little bit, I think. There's so many things that kind of uh, point to the fact that it should be going up slowly because there's been a lot of things that have uh, sort of dragged it down, so it should be recovering over time. Of course, it might not be instant. Now, actually, one thing that... Okay, the local autonomy average has gone up from 77 earlier today, or earlier this... Uh, up to 79% right now. Now, to be fair, that's partially because the stability is a bit lower. Um, there's a lot of unrest, which means that the autonomy is going up in a lot of places. Plus, you know, the various factions, you know, not liking us all that much. Means that there's a lot of hindrance in that regard as well. Oh dear. Uh, <laughs> we might be a little bit over our force limit. Yeah. Alright, um, let's go ahead and reduce the upkeep it a little bit. I'm not going to reduce it all the way. Oh, there we go. It's actually going up a little bit. In that case, I'm going to make it so that we're getting about a duck up a month or something. The rebel suppression impact isn't too large because we do need to get a little bit of uh, things in there. So we got a claim on bulk. Uh, hoping that we can get... Well, I suppose there's not really any other claims that we can get there, so we can probably just recall that one. Now, we also do have the Holy War Cassis Belly, which we probably want to be using most of the time. But having the claims in there makes it a little bit faster and cheaper to core. At least that's in vanilla. I don't actually know if that's still the case in me and Texas or not. So we're about six over our force limit. Hmm. Well, that's not great. I mean, the total manpower that we have dropped quite drastically. But that's mostly because the nobility... Actually, there is something that I can do about that. Uh, tenant abuse, if we do that one... Gonna give them plus five loyalty. So next year it's gonna be at least a little bit better. Is the uh, power? The power is going up. Loyalty is also well. It went up by 0.71. So it's gonna be going up fairly slowly overall. At least the burger power is now at 30 once more. 
It was it had slipped down to twenty nine under the promote the burgers or whatever the burger autonomy thing, which increased their their power. There we go. We got the conquest castle belly. How's the corruption doing? It's still going down slowly. We got some claims on the Turkish Empire there. Oh, what's that? Broken expansion. Rate. Oh, right. Well, that does help a little bit with the stability, I think. And we got up to 46% state reach. That's not bad. Now, I wonder. I'm pretty sure that we don't want to do any of these reforms right now because we are negative stability. But there are. Oh, right. So that one would require the autonomy to drop quite a bit again. I'm not entirely sure if we can reach that. There's the. Oh, if we had enough points, we could do this one. Again, that is minus 10, or uh, minus 1 stability, and 10 state corruption, and 20 bureaucrat corruption. Because if the bureaucrat corruption is quite high right now, we probably don't want to risk that. Not to mention stability is still kind of rubbish. Uh, we could technically do the something like the tax relief or uh, that sort of stuff, but it would uh, cripple our income quite badly. So I'd rather not do that. But we are kind of... Um, in limbo right now. We technically could start expanding, but we don't really have the income for that right now. We don't have a lot of manpower either. We're so much over our force on it. But at the same time, I don't want to disband the troops. It's just, you know, we'll pay a little bit extra right now, and then in a few years, it should start improving again. Like, let's see, we've got 12.6 thousand now, and I'm pretty sure that next year, thanks to the increase in loyalty and all that, it's probably going to be maybe 18 thousand, or at least 16. There we go, so that's a bit of conversions. Uh, right, it's probably easiest to... So it was... Um, actually, I could probably speed up a little bit conversions in places like Derbent. With the, so it was... Tabriz was one of the places that we were converting. How quickly will it happen? 13 months, I mean, that's not too bad. Or we could have a little bit look at the places over here that we could... Oh, hold on a minute. Oh, these areas, right, yeah. Um... Those would be f rather fast to convert. How much would actually do progress there? I'm not entirely sure, though. Uh, you know what? We'll just start converting a little bit of these quick ones here. So how much do we have Orthodox in this province? Zero. Okay, so that is a bit of a foolhardy thing to try to convert right now, then. But I'm hoping that if we could uh, turn their bent into Orthodox at last. It's been taking quite a while, and I don't think we've actually converted any of the ruler population yet. Like, we've had the missionary in there for quite a while. So, one thing's for sure. Uh, the capital building that we built last time in uh, Tabriz has certainly had quite an impact on the autonomy around here. Because, you know, it gets a bit faster to travel to Tabriz, or between Tabriz and the capital. And then all the provinces basically around Tabriz, or mostly south and east of Tabriz, can then try to travel, travel to Tabriz instead of uh, all the way to ability so mm, that makes it a little bit easier but let's have a look how much will we have manpower so we've got 12.6 thousand taxes are happening right now so we should be able to reach I'm guessing it's probably gonna be 16 thousand well I could be mistaken maybe 15 it should be higher than what it is now though that's for sure oh wow it still went down right well that's Terrible news. Alright, well, I guess we'll be spending a lot of cash. Just that we are still making money, though. But we could be making a lot more money, even with the full maintenance. But that is kind of what worries me. Oh, there we go. Three points. Okay. We're still paying two ducats for over force limit. Ooh. So it's now 19 force limit. Right, that's... Concerning. Let's get a claim over here, just for the heck of it. Well, at least the corruption is going down. How's the... Abilities, loyalty, how much did it go up? 0.65, okay. Tunis has announced me as a rival. Well, that's a bit of a long distance rivalry, that's for sure. Now, to be fair, there's technically only one nation between. Well, one nation and their vassals between myself and Tunis, so I suppose it kind of makes sense. But at the same time, it's like, <laughs> what are you going to do about that? Let's go ahead and increase the maintenance again just a little bit. It's like maybe two and a half per month income. Uh, we do have some spy networks that, or diplomats rather, that we could use. Maybe we got we got the ally. Let's go ahead and put in one on the 
own subjects again for a little bit. Also, uh, Art Kids, what is the relations with you right now? 139. What I'm thinking here is if I was to do... Oh, it's Tier Trade. Alright, so did that upgrade the... or update the... No, actually it didn't. Alright. Oh, it was the transfer to trade power, right, okay. Uh, is there... Yeah, there might be transferring trade into Anatolia now, which is actually good for me. But yeah, that didn't actually... So there's the subsidies, which I think I... Can you get... Oh, uh, yeah, another conversion done. Subsidies could get probably about 10 points. And then 25 points from a gift, so that's 35 points. That would be 184, so that's still not quite enough. Noble marriage expired, all right. Uh, I could do the noble marriage again just to be able to get the loyalty up a little bit. But that is going to increase their power a little bit. But also get us a little closer to zero stability, so I suppose that is a worthwhile effort. But is there anything else? I mean, I suppose... Why is our trust... It's a full hundred. Okay, so we can't increase the trust anymore. Good to know, good to know. Alright, request to share maps. That's something that we could do, but I don't think that increases the relations with us. Subsidies is something that we could do, but at the same time, we're not really that solid in terms of cash right now. So probably best to wait. I'm actually surprised that Trebizond has 19,000 men. Like, they haven't expanded in a long while, but I suppose they've been building tall, very tall at that. So I wonder, did we manage to get the loyalty up to at least 25? You know, it's a 25, but that's about it. Hmm. How is the relations with the... Aristocrats has minus 21, resting points at minus 18. The others are, well, doing a little bit better in terms of the relations with the state. Right, so how's the Comoros spreading now? I know that it is spreading in... Oh, there we go. Stability zero, and that should re remove quite a few of these. At least one of them, and the others will certainly slow down. Uh, right, so we still only got three provinces with the thing, and we are, well, we need, yeah, we've got 3% of the development, and we need, well, 10%. Wait, four? Oh, right, because Theodora also has that. Yeah, okay, that makes sense. Four out of 95 provinces. Oh, and I believe Derbent is going to have a missionary done there rather soon. I'm hoping that it's going to start converting the rural population, but I'm not entirely sure who will. It might just be focusing on the urban population, in all fairness. Oh no, it did actually convert about a thousand. Okay, good. Right, well, let's send in the missionary over there again. Maybe now it will start converting a little bit faster, the rural stuff, with the uh, convert minority option as well. Which, if that's the case, then we might be able to get that converter in about... If we keep uh, the missionary focusing, or one of the missionaries focusing on that one, and then we have the other one doing the sort of constant thing there, then in theory I'd say we'd probably get about 2,000 per year. If it converts uh, the rural population and not just the urban one. So, hold on a minute. There was 60,000 in there. It's not going to be converting all of them immediately, but like if we just need about, well, I'd say probably in about five years we'll have the maturity orthodox, assuming that the speed is actually doubled now. Of course, it might not be. Oh, there we go. We've got back to 12.6 thousand manpower. So we're going to convert anything that is, or whatever is the fastest, because we can sort of farm a bit of prestige with that, which is of course going to have a lot of good uh, impacts on various things like the morale of armies, um, trade power, legitimacy, diplo reputation, aggressive expansion, diplo annexation cost, institution embracement cost, and all that sort of stuff. Like it's got a lot of good modifiers in there, sort of. Not necessarily exactly hidden, but weaved in there. We've got a lot of states that we could do, but at the same time, we're still behind in admin tech. Once we get this one, that's going to unlock another idea group, and I think what we're going to do for that is. Um, I might go for the standing army, because that's going to give us another 10% movement speed. It's a bit of an unrest reduction. And this is one of the things that is going to need it or be needed for the hybrid army. Manpower recruitment course is pretty good, and the yearly professionals and tradition decay are both really good. Reinforcement speed is good for recovering after a quick battle. Suitability and morale recovery speed. And then there's the manpower recovery speed, although I'm not entirely sure how much the 
And power recovery speed is actually going to have an impact with this mod, but... Mm, it's there, so it's probably going to have some sort of impact. And of course... Oh! Oh dear. Um, I believe Kazoo died. Alright, somebody is now in charge. Uh, 335. That is not too bad. We'll just continue with the current... Um, advisors. I don't really see a need to remove them. But now we're paying a one point extra on the policies for both of those. Oh. Ah, uh, yeah, I suppose we can do a marriage. Alright, that's not necessarily a particularly good wife, but we'll have to do. Right, so why is the situation in Derbe? Have they converted any more of the rural population? No, not yet. But those numbers might not be entirely accurate. Now, Latusimus is going to take a bit of a hit here while we do all the marriages, but it should start picking up some speed soon enough. Right, so how is the stability doing in the meanwhile? It's 12% towards plus 1, so... We it could be a lot better. Bur um, bureaucrat corruption is going down. How much did it go down, actually, this year? It's another 2.6%, so that's not bad. And yeah, the stability is slowly going up. The uh, state reach is staying pretty much as is, but that's fine. Right, how much are we making money now? Uh, it's only 2. Point oh, it is 3 ducats now, alright. You know what, I'm just going to put in the max uh, maintenance. I'm not entirely sure how much of an impact it's going to have. Well, it is a decent impact there. But I'm also hoping that with the loyalty of the nobility going slowly up. Admittedly, very slowly. Uh, but, oh. Alright, oh, we don't have an heir. So there's a potential for a succession war. Probably between Drevison and someone. Good news is that next year the... Uh, instability from the latest uh, reform that we did is going to uh, expire, which means the stability is going to start going up a little bit faster, and also power cost for pretty much, well, actually everything is going to go down by 5%. Oh, are we actually making 4 ducats? Well, at least the manpower pool increased quite a bit, so I guess we are, oh yeah, the force limit is back to 22. It's going to still take a while before we reach back to the 26s, but... It's getting better, that's for sure, and I think now that with the February coming in... Okay, we did lose a decent bit of income there, but I'll take it. Uh, so Derpen did it now convert... Oh yeah, it's another... About 990 or something like that. Converted to the Autorox there, so that's not too bad. Let's just keep on converting that. Now I suppose, has the... Clergy... No, the loyalty is still too low, so I can't give the auto-convert thing order for them. Well, that's a bit bad. But yeah, I think... Maybe in three years or something like that, if we can get the manpower back to at least 20,000, we could probably do a war against Mogulistan again. Assuming that they don't have any new allies. Oh, well, they're fighting a war. Uh, right. So, Greyhaw, Barakshan, and Corsid. That's a total of... Um, 37,000 men, which we actually, just myself and my vassals have more than that. If I call in Siberia or someone, then that would make it even easier. But I kind of want to start uh, taking the land over here, especially summer account would be really nice to have. Which I'm desperately hoping to get. We've got claims already in these two, so that's going to be fine. And then we'll get something in here. Might, might not be able to get a summer account quite yet, because it's fairly high development. Now, admittedly, they are vassal states, so it should not be costing us too much extra to take those provinces. And then, of course, there's areas down here that we might want to get to. But I believe... Well, actually, no, I don't think Samarkand is one of the silk provinces, but I'm pretty sure that there... Was there silk in here somewhere? Like, Samarkand didn't have any, I'm pretty sure about that. I know that this one does have silk. And there's already 57 industry in there, so that... Would be quite nice, but they've got fairly strong allies, and I can't really call in my allies for a war like that. Now, another option would be to fight against the Turkish Empire. If we were to declare... Oh, that's 70,000 men. Oh, they have corset in there. All right. But if I call in everyone... we have. Oh, wow. Especially if we go with the Conquest War goal, rather than the Religious War, then the battles will not be quite that bad. So if there's a lot of uh, allies, you know getting stomped by the Ottomans, then it's not the end of the world. It's not great either, admittedly, but we can survive. So how much would they have? That's um, 79, 89,000 total. 
because they'll probably recruit a bit more. But yeah, that's 89 total. Uh, we we would have over 100,000 just infantry. Then another 82,000. So there's 185,000 total. We'd have about 100,000 extra. All right. Yeah, I mean, not going to do that right now. But that could actually be the next war that we do. I just want to make sure that we get the manpower situation fixed. Right, so who would the... Conwell and Trevisan would be fighting. Alright, well that's a bit unfortunate. 